This is me, Maria, and I'm back for another cooking vlog. And for today's vlog, we are going to be making one of my favorite foods since we went to Portugal, and that is pastel de nata. And of course, as you can see, <laughs> yes. this is just a quick video because someone is busy right there at the back cooking for tomorrow's fish. It's gonna be a big fish, so he is also busy doing his thing. He's going to be preparing Moroccan. Is it Moroccan? It's gonna be our dinner. So first wrong information. <laughs> Sorry. It's gonna be uh, leftover cooking dinner. Leftover cooking Moroccan stuff. And yes, so he's cooking dinner while I'm doing pastel de nata. And guys, this is the first time that he's actually appearing in the video. Yay! He basically have no choice because he's doing it in the kitchen. <laughs> he's so happy about it. Okay. <laughs> Truth is, I really don't know how to make pastel de nata. So I have here the recipe book. Yes, so it's a Portuguese recipe book. I am going to try to follow this, but the truth is I'm not really good at following recipe books. I'm more of a visual learner, so... Or following orders or following <laughs> other things. So basically, I will just do my stuff, try to do it, and he will check if it's good, if it's correct. Okay, so let's start making pastel de nata. So here are the things we need. For the custard, so right now I'll, I will be making the custard already because I don't have time to make the dough. And for the dough, we have this instant dough. What is it? It's just puff pastry. Puff pastry. We're gonna be using that for the dough. So we will go right away to making the custard. And for the custard, it says here we need milk, 150 ml. We need cinnamon, lemon zest, butter. And that's it. So we're gonna go now to heating 150 ml of milk in a pan over medium heat. Okay, let's go! So this is 150. We're gonna be make double. This makes six. Okay, and I'm gonna do another one for 12. So now I'm gonna put in the cinnamon sticks first before the lemon. So just this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, just gonna drop the lemon zest down there. You want more? Yes, please. One more? All of them. All of it? I'm gonna use it. Ah! Okay guys, if there's one thing I should tell you, I am not good at <laughs> holding knife, slicing, peeling, anything that involves sharp objects because I'm so scared. All those of you out there who also wants to start learning kitchen stuff, but afraid of knife. Always try to get a sharp knife, even though you might cut your finger, at least it wouldn't hurt that much. Who? Because it slices all the way through. <laughs> all the way through what? The finger! <laughs> Aside from lemon zest, what do I need? Butter, babe, butter. Fine. Okay, you make a 10 grams of butter. Ten grams? That's fine. Okay. True. And then it says what does it say? Just below boiling point and infuse for ten minutes, which is basically. Did you and hear then that? in a bowl mix the flour and the corn flour with the thin paste with remaining milk. So it's one hundred. No, it's two hundred because we make double. That's why we need also ten more butter. Ma. Just realized. Two hundred meal. Did you guys get that? I didn't get the measurements already. <laughs> Four tablespoons of flour. Then you take like about two cornstarch. Two teaspoon of cornstarch. Mm. I'm for you. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say I can't do two things at the same time, like whisking and. Okay. Come on. Yeah, 
the use the like less oh, you told me. speed in the hand, but more speed outside. Okay, I got it. See? So guys, if you want to know the things that you shouldn't do in cooking, <laughs> watch my video. We're getting the sugar because we need a lot of sugar. Now we're going to make the sugar syrup. We have to... Sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Put ingredients in the pan, which is cinnamon stick, a few strips of lemon zest. Oh, the cinnamon stick. Here you go. Okay. So I put in four strips of lemon zest into this sugar syrup. Okay, sugar syrup is with what did you do, babe? Water, cinnamon. Water, lemon cinnamon, zest. and lemon zest. And then you cook it. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna put in the ingredients down know. below on the description box. Wait first because I'm gonna give an honest review at the end. <laughs> this is also your work. Still? Oh yeah. It's you and me. It's our product. It's a byproduct of our love. <laughs> Back to the pan. So we cook it thick. Until it becomes thick. Mm. Full fire! Guys, I don't know how <laughs> they are always nervous about breaking. Oh my god! Oh! Okay. Ta da! Separating egg whites and egg yolks. A few moments later. Breathe. What is this for? This is to show to not waste things. So keep all egg whites in the fridge. For That's freeze them. And by the way, guys, he just loves cooking, and I just love food so much. So there's no better way to make him appear in a vlog than in cooking. Yay! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now we're putting in. Hi guys, now we're putting in. <laughs> we're putting in the egg yolks. That was about like six egg yolks. Yes. Okay, go. Should I mix it? Now we can try the taste. Now it should be. Like the taste of another taste. Taste. Are you ready? You want to have the reaction for the video? No? Okay, let's see. This is. This is the pastel dinata taste. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> no, no kidding. Okay. Right, babe? So good. A few inches later. Hi, guys. So we're back. And we just finished cleaning up a little bit. And now we are going to strain the custard mixture once. So just to have a little bit of a smooth texture. So now you can see my strong arms. <laughs> so, so again, while we are doing this, we are already waiting for the oven to... What is this? Full rack. Full heat. 250 degrees and also oh you didn't show them the puff pastry of course we have so he's doing the puff pastry wow this is the puff pastry guys so just a quick cheap cheap version if you're too lazy to do the dough we are using the puff pastry and now he's going, making to, this dough? No, making he's going to cut it and I'm going to strain the custard mixture. So if you are a lover of uh, custard stuff, pastries, then this is definitely one that you should try because pastel de nata are really, really like heavenly goodies. Yummy, so yummy. 
In Portugal, you're gonna have your pastel de nata around for one euro. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, maybe 90 cents, some are 60, yeah. 90 cents. Everything between 80 cents and 120 Okay, now he is brushing the, what is this, the tray with butter. So, wouldn't stick too much of the baking. How many should we make? Only one. Should we make one first? Maybe one's too many. Maybe we need six. Okay. It's not like we're gonna fail, right? Yeah, true. And if yeah. we fail, then we don't have choice. They don't have choice. It's gonna be for drinking cup then. Drinking custard if it doesn't firm up. Is this fine? It looks like interesting. So guys, here, just <laughs> so this and then press. Oh, struggle is real. But you have got to have the patience. Can we feel it? There you go. Just, just, that's right, right? Hmm? Just enough, just enough. One. Okay. Mm. And there goes in the oven. Okay, for how many minutes? A 10, 10, 10 to 15, I believe. So for 10 to 15 minutes. And we're gonna make more for tomorrow. Okay, let's see how much we have. It's one each. There we go. And let's see, let's wait for 10 to 15. Is it? 10 to 15 minutes, guys. And so we are finished, and here is our pastel pinata right there. Hmm. Okay, looks really yummy. So we are going to taste test this now. But before we do that, I would like to invite a very special guest. Let's welcome Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> I'm only doing it here in my blog, so he has a very busy schedule. He's going to play tomorrow. So for my pastel de nata, he's right here to taste <laughs> and to taste it. <laughs> it's really creepy. It really looks Hi Cristiano Ronaldo. Hola. Hola. <laughs> so I made you a very special pastel de nata all the way. I mean pastel de nata of Portugal. So let's try it. Are you ready? Okay, you just can you see it? Okay. <laughs> there it is. Mmm, <laughs> yummy! <laughs> yummy! <laughs> Woo! Yummy. yummy! Thank you so much! Huh? Welcome! Welcome! <laughs> and bye bye! Thank you so much! <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo just left, but let's welcome the most important person okay. in my life. I want to try now. Okay, let's try it. Now we are serious, we're gonna taste this. This one, guys, so as you can see, it's how it's okay. Mmm. Yeah. I'd say this is really close to the pasta de nada that we ate in Carvoero. Huh? Except because that one has more crustier, crispier crusty. Crust. Yeah, the crunch. Mm. 
flour is different, the dough is very different. Yeah, because but we're the doing some good. pastry, but the feeling mm. and my feelings for you is good. Okay. I really love it. Mm. So much. Guys, as you can see, I think we really got the texture this time. So I really love it. Did you show the texture before you go? Mm-hmm. Oh. I told you. So I hope you learned something from this this cooking vlog <laughs> how to do the pastel di nata and what are the things you don't you are not supposed to do because it's by me <laughs> maybe you cannot follow like this cooking of course <laughs> but if you want to have the recipe just uh scribe it right in the box down below or on the side, I don't know. <laughs> yes. And Comment down below or follow my Instagram account, Senorita Maria Maria. Please do hit the thumbs up button because this is only once in the blue moon that he is going to be in my vlog. So again, he is serious <laughs> and I'm serious. If you want him to be in my vlog again, we should reach 100,000 views. One million. <laughs> Thank you so much for staying with us and I hope to see you all on my next vlog. Bye bye!